Welcome to Broken Triad, the sequel to Ominous Bequest by Ashaktar, as you can see right here. Uh, Ominous Bequest is a fan mission for Thief 2, which I played a while ago, and I finally found the time to play the sequel. Just like Ominous Bequest, this fan mission does not have an intro video, um, so I'll just quickly have to read the introduction from the fan mission uh, file itself. I'll just do that. Hold on. Okay. Uh, introduction. Note, this mission takes place a few months after the events in Ominous B Quest. If you haven't played the prequel, I recommend playing it first. Of course, that also goes for anyone who... like, If somebody, for some reason, I cannot even fathom how, but if somebody, for some reason, comes across this video and decides to watch it but has never played or watched Ominous B Quest, I would highly recommend you check that out first. But okay. Um, here we go. Arkford, a six days march northeast of the city, far enough for me to keep it low profile. The events in and underneath Farrington Manor compelled me to leave my usual field of activity for a while. Arkford's citizens have high standards when it comes to their prosperity. Nobody asked you how you amassed your riches, though, which made me fit right in. Still, I don't plan on overstaying my welcome, and after three months, I've seen about enough of this conceited town. Tonight's job will be my farewell present before I head back to the city. A stone bust called the Sleeper is currently on display in the local museum, the Harrowgate. The bust is as ugly a piece of art as it is a coveted item among collectors. Instead of being a useless dust gatherer, it would serve a much better purpose if it earned me some money, so I'm going to make it mine. What makes this task interesting are the elaborate security measures surrounding the sculpture. The bust sits on a pressure plate that triggers the alarm at the slightest change of weight. I assigned a sculpture to create a replica of identical weight, which I'm going to exchange for the original. For the time being, that's the only detail I know about Harrogate's security system. Lucky for me, a renowned security inspector happens to be in town, and he has written a detailed report about the Harrogate's safety precautions. This report might prove useful in my endeavor. I also managed to befriend one of the museum's curators. Sheila Jennings, and persuaded her to borrow a few keys from me by tonight. It's time for me to pay the museum a late visit. The quicker I finish this job, the sooner I get away from Arkford. This town is starting to give me headaches. And with that, let's just jump right into the game, or the fan mission. Uh, I think I'm going to play on hard. I'm not sure how extreme it's going to be on expert, so... I guess hard is fine. Uh, Broken Triad Part 1. It's actually a two mission fan. You know what I mean to say. It has two levels, basically. Um, part 1, Arkford. Difficulty hard. So this the first objective is optional. The security inspector is currently staying in the Bathing Barrack Inn. <laughs> it's a funny name. Locate and steal his report. It should provide you with valuable information about the Harrogate Museum's alarm systems. Uh, the next one, Sheila Jennings, one of Harrogate's curators, has promised to get you a couple of keys to access the museum. Go visit her. So this is not optional. Find your way into the museum, swap the sculpture, the sleep with the replica. Of course, this is not op optional because that's like the main point of the mission. Make sure to turn all the security measures around the sculpture back on once you've done the swap. This is interesting. So we have to not only steal it, but also make it look like nobody ever stole it. This way nobody will notice the difference for a while, yeah. After you've completed everything, go back to your apartment. Also optional, try to avoid triggering any of the museum's alarm systems. Okay, we'll try to do that. So, stealing the report and not triggering anything is optional. The rest we have to do. I think that's also the same on all difficulties. So, we have 700 in cash. What would be useful for this? I always like to take water arrows with, with me, especially since we only have three. Jeez. Um, well, yeah, water arrows are always nice. Because you never know what, like, corridors you might see with lots of torches, and then it's hard to get by. But I also would like to have some moss arrows, because for a museum I could very much picture hallways with this loud clickety-clackety noise-making uh, floor <laughs> tiles. So, maybe I'll take two of these and then fill the rest up with more water arrows. What else do we have? Rope arrows, never a bad idea. Then again, we have two. And you can usually pick them up again. So, I hope that's going to be fine. Gas arrow, is 
cost too much. I'll just take some more water arrows, I guess. Yeah. Water arrows all the way. Here we go. Oh yes, how have I missed this? How have I missed this? These graphics. And I don't mean that ironically, I really love the graphics of this game. So that's the statue, that's, that's fucking Cthulhu, man. Okay, fake sculpture. Yeah, I totally feel feel great about walking with Cthulhu. Cthulhu's stone head. Walking around with that. Uh, it's a nice room. I like to take my time and take the whole atmosphere in again, as usual. Some nice pictures here. Sometimes when I look at pictures like these, I, I like to imagine that I actually... I'm not just looking at a picture, but I'm standing right there, and the picture shows what I'm seeing. It's kind of an interesting thing to imagine and to take in the feeling that that creates within you, if you know what I mean. Anyway, there seems to be something to read here. Okay, the Arkford Observer. Volume, uh, what's L again? Wait, C is, is a century, like thousands, L is probably 500. I, I learned Latin, actually, at school, but <laughs> it's, it's been forever. Barely know any letter anymore. Uh, yeah, I think L is 500, but somebody correct me on that. So it will be volume 537. Or is L something else? I don't know. Number 49, Art for Tuesday, December. Controversial exhibit to remain in Harrogate Museum. Director, the sleeper will not be removed. Yeah, well, tonight it will. <laughs> After the mysterious fainting of a museum visitor three days ago, residents now demand the removal of the sculpture of the sleeper from Harrogate's temporary exhibition. Yeah, okay, that sounds a bit ominous. However, John Wilkerson, director and owner of the Harrogate Public Museum, does not intend to give in to this request. The lady didn't faint while watching the sculpture, but only after she had climbed the stairs to the upper floor. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe there's something else. She should put the blame on her corset instead of jumping. Corset, I think. Yeah, corset is the pronounced. In, in German it's corset, but in, in English it's corset. Instead of jumping to irrational conclusions. The sleeper stays where it is until the temporary exhibition is changed. The sleeper, which is part of the museum's current exhibition, Life and Death, is a sinister stone figurine of an unknown artist who allegedly felt so appalled by his own creation that he dropped dead when he had finished it. <laughs> I mean, that's... Uh... That's kind of an amusing thought to me, as messed up as it is. Rumors are afloat that by simply seeing the sculpture, feeble individuals might lose their sanity. So that's a nice reference to Lovecraft and Cthulhu again, I guess. A gem says more than a thousand words. Hilarious Jewels. New owner, grand reopening. That's interesting. Maybe that's going to be Hilarious Jewels. It's going to be a jewelry store that we can find in, in the town somewhere. Because we also can explore the town here, as, as far as I remember. I have played this mission before, but it's been such a long time that I forgot everything. Almost. Mad Beheader, still on the loose. Okay. City Watch remains clueless. For two weeks now, Arkford has been afflicted by a series of gruesome murders. Since the first discovery of a street beggar's headless body, there have been three more reported victims. It is feared that there are more to come. I really don't barely remember anything about the plot anymore. From this fan mission, I just know that it was pretty great again, just like the plot of Ominous Bequest. So, if I were to guess, I would say that probably everything we're reading here is already somehow related to everything. <coughs> um, in a brief interview with the Arkford Observer, Sergeant Billings of the City Watch stated, The murderer seems to pick his victims at random. Each of them gets their head cut off with a sharp weapon like an axe or a sword, and the killer only leaves the rest of the body for us to find. Anonymous sources also claim that a mad beheader, as the murderer has recently been nicknamed, carves strange symbols into his victim's chests. See, that already sounds kind of meaningful. Let's keep that in mind. Citizens are directed to stay inside during the night and keep their houses locked at all time. The City Watch has been instructed to stop and question anyone suspicious walking in the streets after nightfall. It could also be that this is uh, how the story explains now that we shouldn't be seen at nightfall. Well, okay, enough of that. I guess that's all. Was this? A Harrogate Public Museum, Temporary Exhibition, Central Hall, Life and Death, Central Hall, Upper Main Gallery, Music, Exotic Instruments. Oh, this is 
we can see here what the museum has in store apart from the sleeper. Hyrule art collection, history battle at Widow's Tear, permanent exhibition seafaring exploring the waters, zoology mysterious creatures in the basement, oh great, anthropology precursor culture, oh cool, entry 50 gold, number 14744. Guess we don't need that anymore? I don't know. I mean, it's not like we're gonna go there as a customer, we're just gonna break into the place. So I guess this is still part of the apartment. I just... Did, did I just see there? See something there? I, I must... I, I guess not. Uh, okay. That's a very... Very fascinating... Exciting book. I, well... All the pages are empty. No, really, all of them. Okay. Hmm. That was kind of pointless, I guess. Oh, might as well save it. No, I didn't mean to. Okay, I need to get used to the controls again, because I've also been playing some other game recently, which has similar controls. A bit different, so I might mess up things here and there. Close the door. Go outside. Well, that's kind of creepy. What? What the? Um. Uh, whoa! Whoa! What was that? Yeah. What was that, indeed? So, uh. Okay. Apparently, I'm still here. Am I gonna see the same thing again? No. What the hell was that? Right, let's take a look at the- holy shit, that's a big map, actually. Let's take a look at it, then. And plan our first steps. Home. Okay, home is over here. Mm, I hope you can actually see my cursor, I'm not entirely sure, but you should see it when I click here and, like, uh, uh, <coughs> something for typing stuff pops up. So home is here. So that means I'm gonna, when I go, when I keep going straight forward, I'll come to the Upper Gate Street here. The Museum Director's House. Where do I have to go to steal the Security Inspector's Report? Um, oh, that's over here. It's down there. I guess it can't hurt to go to the Museum Director's House anyway, just since it's close by. And then maybe we'll just check out this Upper Gate Street part here first, and then we Try to use a Gregory Street to go to the market alley and see what's over there. Then maybe check out Mill Square and use that to go to the security inspector. Yeah, we'll see. Don't want to plan too much. I'll just go wherever my mind takes me. Oh, it's snowing. Well, that's cool. And there's flowers. No flowers for me. Fruit. Hold on, market. Oh yeah, okay. That makes sense. Then... I see, okay. I, I, I kind of misinterpreted the layout a bit. I understand now. Pretty empty so far, which is good. I hear somebody coming. There aren't many dark corners here. Gotta be very careful. Not sure who is allowed to see me and who isn't. But I might as well just try to be as stealthy as possible. For a moment I wanted to press against the wall. Be free style. <sighs> Somebody else is coming. And this time it's a guard. Mm. 
Uh oh. I mean, the, the other guy didn't see me, so I should be fine, but you never know with guards. I'm just gonna look away, if, so if I don't see you, then maybe you don't see me either. <laughs> yeah, okay, so much of that. I mean, I, I don't want to start loading all the time. That went pretty... pretty badly. Shit. What am I gonna do? Uh-oh. Strange. Okay. There was something there. Well, okay, if you want to play play that way, then it's on. It's time to knock some heads. <coughs> to knock on some heads. Where am I gonna put you? It was a lot empty a, a while ago. I'm just gonna bring him to my apartment. Isn't that romantic? Here. Make yourself at home. Okay, careful now. Shit. Oh, but it is. You gone? Okay. Quick. I like the wind sound here. Also like the green light there. Just the general city atmosphere. Especially with the snow falling, that's pretty cool. I'm a big fan of snow. Which is why I'm pretty sad that we haven't had much snow recently. The Baron needs you. Oh. Shit, somebody's coming, I think. Check who it is without being seen. <laughs> okay, this guy again. I guess, he, I guess he doesn't mind if he sees me. That's why he won't pass me earlier. So what is this? This 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 place here? Or just put an axe? Oh, I'm not sure. Let's see, is there a street going straight down from it? Mm, not really. Mm. Where am I? Oh, well, it could still be that place. I'm just gonna check it out anyway. <sighs> I wanna... I played some Dying Light recently, so I keep... I'm, I'm, I, I wanna press the button for the flashlight all the time when it's dark. But this is not Dying Light. Bomb, okay. Oh, a rope arrow. Well, that's cool. Oh, I like that. You see that? It's always cool when we have some some great like back backdrops. Close it. Okay. Hello. Is this the curator's house? Uh, director's house? Looks like the museum director's house. Oh no, this should be it, right? Are you the museum director's house? I need to be careful. Should still be guards walking around. Yeah, that seems to be it. Piece of wall. What the? There's a dog. Okay, it's not perfect, but I 
can hide here. Somebody's coming. Let me see, is there another way inside? I mean, taking the front door is a bit ballsy. But if that's the only option I have, then that's the option I'll take. Yeah, looks like it. Is there anything here? Oh, all right, in that case. Just snow. My dear wife, his patience is beyond words. Come next year, you shall no more be married to a museum director, but to a full-time husband. This I promise. Love, John. Yeah, I guess he... wants to quit his job. it open the other way. I thought I heard somebody earlier, so I gotta be careful. Okay, somebody's sleeping. This isn't open. <laughs> Seems to be coming from there. Ugh. Anything here? The lamp looks pretty cool. This looks suspicious. Maybe this thing up there. <laughs> uh -huh. Now, what might you be? that for now. So, I'll turn this back. Can I also close this? I can't. Or maybe it wasn't fast enough. Be careful. Don't want to wake anybody up. I'll just take my leave. Okay, what's next? 
the Gregory Street right here. It's that guy again. I'm, I'm gonna hide. Don't want to risk anything. Let's see where he goes. I could knock him out as well, but it doesn't seem necessary. Is it already the Harrogate Museum? I think it is. Okay. Oh, it's a pretty big moon. Or is that the museum? Oh. Ah, okay. I'm, I'm seeing now. Now I'm probably here. At the street part of Gregory Street. So that is the museum. What is this then? Sea Colossal Cave. <laughs> oh, damn, somebody's coming. And there's a guard. I should use my blackjack. Is he coming back? Hmm. Where'd he go? Oh, let's see that guy again. Where'd the guard go? Would have been a nice opportunity. Oh, you are so annoying. time. You're gonna see my blackjack. What is this? Also, where's my row arrow? Quick now. Damn. Doesn't actually lead anywhere. Unless... There's something up here? Can't see anything. <laughs> oh. What is this? Not sure where I am right now, but oh, it's just one small room. That's cool. <laughs> I like this stuff when you can, like, well, do what I'm doing right now. Be above the city, so to speak. Sneak around on these narrow path. Anything else over here? <gasps> Shit! <laughs> Well, I gotta know now. And then I'll try to break in. Actually, I might try to break in right now. Because it's quiet. Oh. 
shit. Need to leave. Done with you. Uh. Okay, quickly. I bring them somewhere. Now this isn't good. On. Shit. I think they found him. Just leave the guy there. Well, that's not very nice. Could at least bring him somewhere. Just like what I'm doing right now. I think I'll just put you into this tower. There. Have a good night's sleep. Quickly, Martin, want to make sure that there's nothing on this side without falling down this. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> so much for that. What is it with that side that it makes me fall down when the other one was not a problem? It's gonna save now. Okay, carefully. Carefully. <sighs> Almost fell down again. But I don't think there's anything here. Um, however, I definitely can use this. Uh, I'm not sure they might hear me. Yeah, they'll probably hear me. Unless... <coughs> I can do it like this. Now let's get in here real quick. I can just put the body in there. Oh, yeah. Let's pick that up again as well. So what's this place? Not entirely sure. Shouldn't it be somewhere around here? There's nothing really marked over here. Is there a sign outside that tells me what this is? Not really, right? So that over there, that's the museum's director's house. This is next to it. Yeah, it doesn't really say anything. Let's see. Ugh. Well, that is... Creepy, especially as it almost looks like it's following me with its eyes. You, I just shouldn't look at that. As our first outpost in this town, these premises will certainly be sufficient. It is no white cathedral, but there is enough space for a small seminary. The majority of Arkford's citizens seem to be dissatisfied with the Hammerites, which can only be to our benefit. The sooner this town starts hearing from us, the better. Father Carrows will be pleased. Oh, <laughs> see. Oh yeah, I remember from Omnia's Bequest that this Omnia's Bequest was taking place between Thief 1 and Thief 2. Because I think you could 
in Armin's bequest, there was this one high priest who, in his secret chamber, had like uh, a uh, mechanist propaganda. So you could see that he was secretly beginning to lean towards the mechanists. So I guess this means this is like a little outpost from the <laughs> mechanists here. And what was it with the... It's, it's no white cathedral, but there's enough space for a small seminary. There is a white cathedral down here at the bottom right, where I have the cursor now. So I guess that's the... This town's Hammerite Cathedral is what I how I interpret this, and this small room is is a room that the mechanists rented in this town, so they could hold seminaries and convert people to their way of thinking, which is a horrible way. Okay, let's see if there's anything up there, because I didn't def definitely use this. I cannot pick this up. Okay. Over here, perhaps? I mean, it is kind of... kind of fishy that everything is... well, not everything, but that the ceiling has... even, even has wood tiles. Maybe the statue itself has something? Well, if there is anything, then I can't find it. But maybe it's just a little story, fun little story thing. On which I spent way too much time now, but whatever. I mean, it's not, it's not about finishing the mission as quickly as possible. It's, for me, it's all about visiting everything and taking in the atmosphere. Oh, somebody's having a lively evening in there. Almost makes you nostalgic, right? Especially in these times. I almost want to, like, open the door and just join in. Ask for a beer and start a conversation with somebody. And I'm not even an extrovert. <laughs> and yet... I don't know, that sound just now kind of made me want to go inside. Okay, this leads back to the apartment and the market place. Probably shouldn't let him lie right here. I'm going to put you over here. So with that, we have checked out the town's part like the northwestern part. Next, I am going to check out Market Alley. Well, I mean, I don't think it's more than this, actually, so I'll just go... Uh, what's this? It's like a cemetery? It is. Interesting. Um, I'm going to go to, yeah, probably down this large lane, quickly check out Mill Square, and then to the security inspector's place. Also have to go to Sheila's apartment, which I can just go by go go to after the after the security inspector. That should be okay. And after I have been at Sheila's apartment, I would like to check out the white cathedral over there. Just before I go to the museum. I'm also interested in this place, but I'm not sure how I can enter yet. Walls are pretty high. Nothing here. I can't apparently climb on this, but the wall is still too high. Delahaye Crematorium. Thy remains are important to us. Okay. Hmm. That's this place here. Krem. Yeah, I know how to spell Krem. Can you go in there? No. At least not through the front door. 
that is. This. Where does this lead? It's just like a little back alley. Alley or back. Backyard? Well, not backyard. Like a small. Place. What is this? What the? What is that? Huh. Can I go there? I can. Thinking back to Armin's bequest, I'm already gonna guess that everything I see here is important and I need to check it out at some point. Also, there's a letter on the floor. Mr. Bolston, I tried to talk to you in person, but you wouldn't answer the door. With this letter, I'd like to make you once again aware of the disturbances your inventions are causing in the neighborhood. Since you decided to let your machines running day and night without asking anybody for permission, I might add, the air in my house is charged with electricity. Lights go on and off all by themselves. Each time I try taking a bath, I receive periodical shocks, and worst of all, my hair defies gravity and any brushing attempts. Yeah, that sounds like more than just a minor inconvenience. I guess that's <laughs> reasonable. Uh, you know, uh, that's a reasonable reason I was about to say. That's a good, re good enough reason to actually go and complain. Whatever you're doing up there, I ask that you shut down your machinery immediately. I've already informed the City Watch and they promised me to look into it. If you don't follow my request within the next 24 hours, Lisa Wigglesworth. The way this place looks, I'm gonna guess whoever lives, or rather lived here, died doing one of their experiments. Which would also explain that the person didn't answer the door. What is this? Is this an elevator? Looks like it. This one seems to be broken. Well, let's check it out. Uh, here. Should I be worried? Music is a bit scary. What the? Oh, is it? Is it a mechanist? What is that? Wh who are you? You look kind of weird. Okay, the chair has been. I don't know. Has it been kicked over by somebody? Has it just been... Did it just fall to the side? Personal notes. Tested Martin's suggested settings and prototype today. Efficiency of solar reception went slightly down while lunar reception improved at astonishing rate. Keeping spectral receptor active also during nighttime seems reasonable. Going to recommend adjustments to Director Wilkinson. <laughs> director Wilkinson? This wouldn't happen to be the museum director. Must locate Martin and ask how he calculated these figures. He claimed to have come all the way from the city just to visit me, and he even knew I had based the receptor on precursor technology. Evidently, my reputation precedes me. Do I have anything that tells me what the name of the museum director was? No, this just says John. The map, perhaps? No. Might as well save it again. I was almost time call it an episode. I want to do like, I don't know, 30 to 45 minutes episodes. Hmm, that looks very... Yeah. Very... Unlock pickable. It just has, it has this special look. University of Spectrum. Why is the chair like that? Did somebody attack him? I'm, I'm a bit worried about that. Also, I'm not sure, but it kind of looked like there was wood up there. Nah, I don't think it is. Also, even if it was, wouldn't this be way too high up? I mean, let's let's check it out. It is. How would I get up there? 
Hmm. It would be somewhere over there. So it's probably behind that door. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be behind that door, and then you have to use the rope arrow to get further up. I bet that is what it is. Did I save after? No, I saved before shooting it. That's good. I'm gonna keep it for now. Okay, I can't pick this up. Anything else here? Oh, nice. I like the atmosphere of this fountain very much. Oh. What is this? And what is that? Harold Barstow, blacksmith and sculptor. Okay, maybe the window here leads in there. I'm gonna try this before I call it a night. Yeah, it's just... Okay. It was a bit hard getting in there. Be careful here. The floor is a loud one. I hope you can actually hear me well when I whisper like this. I hope the noise gate doesn't filter that out. Okay, that's good. What was that noise? Shit. What was I supposed to do? Is that had to happen? At least if I wanted to enter this room, it had to happen. There's no way of opening a door quietly. Shit. Hmm. She needs to turn around. Are you gonna turn around or not? The way of... Oh shit. She made it worse. I guess I could just run in there. Yes, God! <laughs> yeah, that works. But is there anything in here? Hmm. Do I have flares, by the way? I don't. Let's turn on the light. Maybe I'm missing something. Cause it's it seems a bit strange to me that you have this place without anything to do. Don't be anything on the ceiling. Did she have anything? Unconscious body, so she's also not somebody special that I need to put somewhere. Oops. Oh. Ah. That was a ring. Maybe this was just to get all the loot. Wish I could have done that without being, yeah, without startling her, but I'm not sure how, how I could have. I would also like to go in here, but it looks like I need a key for that. Harold Barstow, blacksmith and sculptor. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let me check out Mill Square as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. Where am I? Oh, okay. What the? Hmm. Shit. Please turn around. It's not very, very dark here. You turn around, please. Okay. Is there a way of going inside this place? Harold Bar still blacksmith and it's, it's it's the same place. And a fishmonger, okay. Can actually climb up there, but it doesn't look like 
that's of any use. That's weird. Something blocks the door, and for some reason I have a bad feeling about that. I can see a fire in there. But something bad must have happened in there. I wonder what. I wanted to call it at night already, but... Shit, 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 shit. As usual, it's kind of addicting. Where did that guard come from? Oh, probably here. Maybe this place here. That means that's going to lead to Mill Square. Yeah, this is Lodge Lane, so this is Mill Square. Drum at design. <laughs> <laughs> Drummit Divine. <laughs> Drummit is the is the the editor, the thief level editor. I probably shouldn't jump in there. Uh, I just saved it, so I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, okay. Doesn't seem to. Is this gonna hurt me? It's not. Hmm. Okay, but now I can't get up again. So that's that's not what I want. I might try that later, but not right now. Also, shouldn't that be freezing cold? Like, in reality, that would probably really suck. Oh, that's a casino. Well, that is certainly very interesting. But I can't open it. Also, there's a guard coming. Okay, for now, I'll retreat back to this fountain here. Uh, no, that's not a fountain, but... I'll just go to the fountain over here, because I like it. I'll go here, and that's it for now. Next time, I will see if I can get into the casino. And also, yeah. Maybe check out what's this X down here. If you see where it just put a lot of X's. Maybe you'll check what that is. And then I'll continue to the security inspector place and Sheila's apartment, but that's what we'll be doing next time. Gotta save again. Alright. See you then.